Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video that is complementary to our solar energy course from Udemy or our website. The idea of this, of this video is to show you how to use the power project supported by NASA to get the solar irradiance and peak sun hours for solar photovoltaic applications. We are going to see how to obtain this information for any region of the world and for different tilt of the PV modules and for each month of the year. We will also see the maximum and minimum temperature that we will use to adjust the voltage, power and current of our PV modules to, pro to properly design the system. Before jumping into the tutorial, I, want to, I wanted to tell you that if you are interested in our complete solar energy course, we are leaving a link below in the description. We also encourage you to visit solarenergycourse.com. There we are creating a community for solar energy entrepreneurs, installers and enthusiasts. We are publishing premium articles on solar energy, Q&A forum, courses and much more content that we are planning to add. The goal is to add more value for you and to spread the green revolution. We are firm believers that the world needs clean energy and at the same time this has to be sustainable and we need more people to join to cover what the world needs. That's why we want to join we, we want you to join and tell your friends about us and to join as well if they are interested in solar energy. So thank you so much for listening and now let's go back to the tutorial. To go to the NASA website, we left a link in the description. Once that we are there, we scroll down a little bit and we click on the Power Data Access Viewer. This will open a new window. Here we have the world map and at the left we have some parameters. To look for the irradiance and temperature for solar photovoltaic applications, this is to design PV systems, we have to set the following configurations. In one, we have to choose the user community, in our case is renewable energy. In two, we have to choose a temporal average, we are going to select climatology here. In three, we have to enter the latitude and longitude of the location, or we can also mark in the map with this button right here. So we click it and then we mark our location on the map. Let's see an example. Let's take Austin, Texas for this example, but you can select any part of the world. Look, if we zoom off, if we, zoom off we have the whole world map. Okay, so Let's select for our sample Austin, Texas. So we mark it on the map and the coordinates are automatically set here. Then as we select the climatology in the temporal average, we don't need to select a time window. In five, we select the output file formats. For a fast view, we select ASCII. This way you can see it right away on the website. Also, if you want to import this data, like for example to the Excel that we created for our solar energy course for estimating the energy generation, we can select the CSV output format. Now, in 6, we have to select the parameters that we want to see. In our case, we were looking for the radiance at different tilts of the PV modules and the temperatures. So for this, we look on, we look on the option meteorology temperature right here and we select the maximum temperature at 2 meter and the minimum temperature at 2 meter. Now for the radiance we scroll down and we go to tilt solar panels. Here we select the solar irradiance for equator facing tilt surfaces set, and we select set of surfaces so we can see the, the generation for different tilts. So now, awesome, we now scroll down to 7 and we submit. It can take a little bit to collect the data here, so just wait. So here we have the results. For this case, let's look at the ASCII format, so we can visualize it, the results right here on the web. On another video, we will show how to import this data from the CSV file to use it with the Excel file that we created for the course to estimate the energy generation. To look at the results right here, we have, select, we have to select the parameter. In the, in the case of exporting to the CSV file, you will see all the parameters together in the file. So let's select the solar irradiance first. We select it and we click ASCII. This will open a new window with the information. Let's analyze this data. 
we have the explanation of each parameters right here and below we have the table with the data in the first two lines we have the maximum and minimum temperature at two meters and on each column we have the maximum and minimum temperature for each month of the year and in the last column we have the annual average notice that these temperatures are given in degrees celsius so be aware of that now let's see the third column in this case we have the solar irradiance with a tilt surface horizontal meaning this will be the value in the case of having the modules completely horizontal or with zero degrees inclination and again we have the values for each column and the annual average then in the following line we have the solar irradiance for an angle equal to the latitude minus 15 degrees in this case the latitude is 30 degrees so this is going to be 30 minus 15 which is 15 degrees of the of tilt for the pv module something that i want to i want to mention is that these values are given in kilowatt hour per per square meter per day so if you want to pass this to peak out peaks and hours just divide it by the one kilowatt per square meter irradiance and in this case it will be the same number just the units are changing changing but for example for may with an angle of the latitude minus 15 degrees the peaks an hour is 5.5 for austin texas so then in the following lines we have the values for the latitude plus 15 degrees and the values for 90 degrees or vertical modules then in the next line we have the solar irradiance considering that the angle is optimal for each for for that season and below that line we have the value of that angle notice that this change depend this change depending on the season and naturally the angle is smaller on the summer season as it is better to have the modules horizontal on the summer as the sun is high in the sky and in winter as the sun is closer to the horizon it is better to have the modules with a higher inclination in the last line we have the value of solar irradiance if we use a tracker a tracker it's a mechanism used to automatically control the position of the solar panel to follow the sun as you can see if we use a tracker the radiance available for the pv modules is going to be higher than any of the other so awesome we look at how to obtain the solar irradiance and maximum and minimum temperature for each month on a given on a given season so now we can use this information to design our system in the case that you are enrolled in our course on Odemi or in our website go back to the next video over there and in the case that you are not enrolled we encourage you to do it if you are interested in learning about solar energy and we also encourage you to visit us at solarenergycourse.com in the link in the description we leave you the links to the NASA power project and the links to our website and to our course on Udemy we also leave you the link to download the to, to go to the other videos where we explain how to use our exos thank you so much for watching and see you soon